People drive crazy on the road. Are you a good driver, safe driver? So you got to be safe, man. People are nuts out there. You know what I'm saying? Speeding and all that. I'm doing 90 last week. I shouldn't be doing 90. I'm in a hurry, and that's still not fast enough. Some guy's on my back bumper this close, yelling at me, honking his horn, flashing his badge, right? <laughs> I'm like, go around. You're good. <laughs> We're flipping around. <laughs> He didn't flip it around. <laughs> well, there's no police in here, but... Because uh, the cops, they pull you over, they ask you questions. You know, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, you don't know either, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tried to give me a ticket for an illegal U-turn. I'm like, I didn't even want to turn. The sign said, no, U-turn. <laughs> Is he buying it? My father is British. He's very stereotypically English. He's Mr. Magoo. Think Mr. Magoo. The mustache. Ends conversations by walking away from you. One minute he's there, the next minute, all right, well, that's about enough of that. Thank you so long. Goodbye, Alvida Zaynat Yuhu. My father got pulled over by a police officer in Palm Coast, Florida, where old people live. <laughs> and in the middle of getting the ticket, politely disagreed and drove away. Like, like it's a debate. Like if you prove your point, you're just free to put your left turn signal on and shush your way around the cop. Yes, Officer Spive, you very effectively guided us to the side of the road with your interesting illuminations. Ooh. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Unfortunately, my wife, little Gandalf, and me vehemently, <laughs> vehemently disagree with your assessment, so good day, and he just drove! <laughs> He drove and the cop was paralyzed. It was so weird. It was so non-violent. And he just, he just, he just stared there. It's like my parents glamored the police officer. We're not the droids you're looking for. And he just took off. But then they did chase my parents because the guy was like, you're running from me. That, you can't do that. So they chased my parents for two miles at 35 miles an hour. While, while my father, using the rearview mirror, realized they did not want to, in fact, go around. Go around! Go around! It's the same one with the lights! Got pulled over for the second time, and he decided to do what he's done ever since he moved to the States. Correct the cop's grammar. Yeah, that's a good idea! The second time you're being pulled over, correct the cop's grammar. And my mother captured the whole thing on her cell phone because she thought it was hilarious. I told you, papi, don't do it. <sighs> Pero tu papi loco, and he could go for a coco poof. He do anyway, okay? <laughs> so there's video footage on my mother's cell phone of my father telling a police officer, you're not bringing me to jail. You're taking me, taking me to jail. <laughs> you can only bring something to the speaker. You are the speaker. It's off the hood, not off of. It's already off. You don't need the of. Anyway, there's no S. That's the word in your English language and mine. It's shorter. Anyway, it's easier. That, I know she worries because I do spend so much time on the road, and because of that, I got a radar detector now. That's a handy device, because it'll let you know the moment that you're caught. <laughs> and if you have a driving record like mine, you'll do just about anything to avoid a ticket. Last time I was pulled over, the officer approached the window and I said, oh, oh my, officer. Well, if I'd known you're so handsome, I'd have pulled you over. Hey, you got me a date in court. 
Those lady cops are tough. (laughs) And you know, cops, they always ask you that same stupid question. Do you know why I stopped you? Um, so it won't be so windy when we talk. (laughs) And and I tell you what I do not understand, that's cops on bicycles. I mean, what do they do when they arrest someone? Okay, buddy, in the basket. (laughs) I told that joke the other night, and this whole table started pointing to this one guy, and I said, oh, are you a bicycle cop? He said, no, I've been in a basket. (laughs) I got pulled over, too, accidentally pulled over, which I didn't know was possible, but I do things a little differently. Like, Like, we were up by Duluth, Minnesota, and we're driving, and a state trooper came right behind my car, and he just started shouting at us over the loudspeaker. Like, he was just like, blah, 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 like mumbling. And I, I turned to my wife. I was like, I think we're getting pulled over. I was like, maybe they've had budget cutbacks so they don't use lights and sirens anymore. <laughs> and apparently, they just mumble at you until you pull over. So I started pulling over. And as I was pulling over, I realized another state trooper had pulled somebody else over. So this guy was coming for his backup. Because then he started yelling at me more. He's like, I'm not pulling you over. Get out of my way. Don't pull over. But I had already pulled over, so I was like, I'm kind of stressed out. You got to give me a second. (laughs) This is an intense situation. And he was like, sir, just move your car. Please get out of the way. So I started to get back onto the freeway, and a car just flew by. And he was like, well, don't pull into oncoming traffic, sir. (laughs) You know what? I'm going to have you stay there. I was like, now really I'm pulled over. I just pulled myself over. It's fantastic. I was like, maybe he'll let me fill the ticket out too, like self-checkout. I can just do this all by myself. Yeah. I'll probably give myself a warning. That's what I feel like I deserve in this situation. Yeah, uh, one time I got pulled over and the cop came up to the window and he did this little thing. I saw him in my rearview mirror. I was going 54 and a 50. And I was like, why did I get pulled over? I went through the whole thing in my head, like, what did I do? And I just couldn't, I couldn't think of what I did. And I was like, finally, they caught their man. My days of terrorizing the streets are over. 54 and a 50. I couldn't believe it. I look at the cop in my rear mirror and he gets out and he pauses. He looks back at his car. He comes up to me and he knocks on the window. What's with all the -the jack-in-the-box rappers? I'm like, ugh, I'm in a hurry, let's go. No, he does that thing that all cops do. Do you know why I pulled you over? And I think that's what the pause was. I think he got out of the car and he went 54 and a 50. Why did I pull this guy over? Perhaps if I ask him politely, he will admit to a crime. <laughs> no, I hate it. It's a dumb question. They ask it like, like it's one of those Nickelodeon kids shows. Hey, kids. Do you know why I pulled him over? And from behind the screens, the children yell, Reckless driving! <laughs> Bingo! I hate that question. It makes me furious. I got pulled over by the police. I'm not making this up. I got pulled over by the police because it was sunny day and my granddaughter was in the back seat with sunshine through the window and the policeman said, I'm not going to write you up this time, but you need to have a sunshade to protect her from the sun. I go, what? Are you kidding? I, mean, I almost got arrested. I said, are you you're kidding me? This is a joke, right? When did the sunshine become this evil thing? Sun, we didn't have sunscreen. You know what sunscreen was when I was a kid? Dirt. That's what it was. Dirt. <laughs> And why? Because we would eat dirt and it would get all over our face and protect us from the sun. And then we'd wash it down with water from a garden hose. And then I'd take a bath, put on my asbestos pajamas and go to bed. And look how I turned out. But the best CUI checkpoint story ever, I'm with a buddy of mine. A 22 at the time, he's half in the bag. We're trying to find his house. 
We come around the corner, and it's like, bam, DUI checkpoint. He sees it, and he just pulls a U-turn and drives away from it. And I go, whoa! He goes, I think it'll probably be okay. You know? <laughs> Seconds later, boop! You know, we're pulled over. Cops at my window talking to my friend. And he goes, sir, I don't know if you know this, but there's a DUI checkpoint set up back there. And my buddy goes, no, yeah, I saw it. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> the cop kind of giggled. He was like, what? Like, you have to do it. And my buddy goes, oh, I have to? And then he got out of the car and started running. I was like, what? <laughs> he shot through two houses, jumped a fence, and he was gone. And I was like, well, that's another way to go, I guess. They pull me out of the car. They tow the car away. And I go, oh my, you know, I find my buddy the next day. I go, dude. And he goes, what? And I go, they towed your car. They know who you are. They're probably gonna be here in five minutes. He's like, just relax, okay? That's not my car. I was like, what? <laughs> I go, stop, like, I know that's your car. I see you drive. He goes, well, let me clarify. It is my car. I purchased it off of Craigslist, but I never switched the title. So they're headed to Bob Johnson's house right about now. <laughs> He's like, dude, that is horrible. He's like, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, if you'll excuse me, I have to go buy another drinking car. I was like, what? He's doing this every weekend. If you didn't laugh at that, you're like, that's a good idea. Give me a drinking car tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't hit him. I had bad luck. I got pulled over by the police. This boy walks right up to my window. He goes, you know why I stopped you? I go, yeah, because my radar detector was stolen. <laughs> he goes, would you mind stepping back to the patrol car to see how fast I clocked you? I go, look at your machine. If you can't read it, how in the world am I supposed to? <laughs> he goes, what are you, a comedian? <laughs> I said, son of a gun, you ought to sell trucks. <laughs> Everybody's high in California. You can think what I'm about to tell you is an exaggeration or a flat out lie, but it's true. About four years ago, I got pulled over by a high cop. <laughs> he was high. He came to my door. He's like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Do you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no, officer. I don't. I was kind of worried about myself. He's like, ah. Oh. Well, now to have you stop till you do look kind of suspicious. So I think I'm gonna need to check your car for snacks. <laughs> it's like, I don't have any snacks in my car, sir. He's like, about the power invest in me by the state of California, I demand you to take me to get some snacks. <laughs> I was like, well, can we take your car? He's like, yeah. I was like, can I drive real fast? I'm on the highway with the siren on. He's like, absolutely. Why wouldn't we do that? <laughs> and that's what we did. <laughs> it's my favorite LA day. I'll never forget it. <laughs> it's the day I got my gun. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Don't think I'm insensitive to the challenge of a stutter, either. My best friend growing up had a severe stutter, and he always told me that his worst fear in the world was being pulled over by a police officer because his stutter would make him look nervous. I was like, you should become a police officer. That would make everybody nervous. <laughs> so here's how karma works. Four years ago, I got pulled over by an actual cop with a stutter in real life. And not like I did it done with a stutter either. This dude closed his eyes and committed to every syllable. <laughs> like, my name's Parks from the Sheriff's. Do you know I pop up? Pulled you over this evening. He looked at me like I was making it weird. I have no idea why you pulled me over to mess with my head. Are you serious? How am I supposed to not giggle and go to prison for the rest of my life? That's not fair. 
And he's a cop. How dangerous is that? Free, 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 free. Bam! Oh, no! A shot one. I can't get freeze out in time. I should have been an unprofessional trumpet player. Nobody would have noticed. What if you had a stutter and got pulled over by that cop? That'd be disastrous. <laughs> Do you know I pop up and pulled you? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't you make fun of me, you my no, no, no. That's how I talk and talk, talk. Get in the cock, 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 cock. I didn't do, 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 do. You'd have to change tapes in the dash cam halfway through. <laughs> Couldn't fit that on one episode of Cops. That was a mini series. <laughs> And so we were driving in this big motorhome, this big Winnebago, and this cop pulled us over. And the cop comes up and knocks on the side of the door. And my grandmother was like, shh, pretend we're not home. <laughs> the nice thing about being an eater, though, I'm an eater. The nice thing about being an eater versus a drinker is at least you can't get pulled over for eating. <laughs> Too much? Yet. Can you imagine that, Griff? How much have you had to eat tonight, sir? I don't know, like one or two burgers. Four burgers. <laughs> Get out of the car and run this line. <laughs> I'll do it for a treat. <laughs> You'll do it because I say now. Get in the back. We're going to Snap Fitness. I don't know how it is here. I'm, I'm from Jersey. I, uh, I constantly get pulled over by the police. Constantly get pulled over by the police. I don't know why that is. <laughs> but you know you get pulled over by the police a lot when they ask for your license registration and you're like, no need. I've already got an account with you guys. <laughs> Here's something you should never say to a cop if you get pulled over. Uh, like, what a coincidence, in my glove compartment, I've got the exact same gun. <laughs> Yeah, I joke about dyslexia, but there was one awesome benefit. Mm. There's one amazing benefit of being dyslexic. Here it is. I got pulled over by the police recently. It was a DUI checkpoint. I wasn't drinking at all, but they were making everybody take a test. And I was like, oh, great. He's going to make me touch my nose or stand like a peacock, right? But now the cop goes, all right, son, I want you to say the alphabet backwards. <laughs> really? Thank you. <laughs> All right, the alphabet backwards. G, officer, how would that go? <laughs> Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Hey! Now I said my Z, Y, X. Let me go, cause I'm not gonna wreck you. Thank you, Utah. I can't hear you, Utah. Thank you very much. I sang that song, then I got arrested for being a jackass. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, as long as I didn't get arrested for drinking and driving. That's right, because I do not need an IUD. <laughs> wow, you guys got it. Good job, Utah. Y'all are smart, man. <laughs> and if I could pay you a compliment, I think it is great. And I'm, I say this in sincerity, that you guys can go out and have a great time at Dry Bar. You don't need alcohol. Good for you. I just came from Wisconsin. They have a drinking problem. In churches in Ireland, they're praying for the people in Wisconsin to stop drinking. I do one impression in all my career, and I'm gonna do it for you now. What you're about to see only happens in Wisconsin. Give it a second. When it starts, you're like, no, we've seen that. We've, no, <laughs> wait for it. Here we go. My one impression only happens 
in Wisconsin. You know why I'd pull you over? <laughs> you were weaving all over the road. You still are. It's the only state I've ever said to a cop, get in the back, I'll take you home. Get in the back. I used to be a state trooper. Yeah, yeah, cool. I was the worst state trooper you have ever seen in your, you know why? Because I would stop a car and then I forget why I stopped it. It was weird, I was just thinking about other stuff. Let's pretend this is a car, okay? A very small car, and I would walk up to the car and from here, from my car to that one, I would forget why I stopped it. Just immediately I would just walk up and go, hey, how's it going? Hey, um, do you know why I stopped you? <laughs> You want to take a stab at it or anything? Or? Just a wild guess? 